Several protesters were shot dead outside Kenya's parliament on Tuesday amid demonstrations against proposed tax hikes. Inside, Kenyan lawmakers had, at its second reading, approved the contentious finance bill that seeks to raise $2.7 billion in revenues. Opposition to the legislation had brought thousands onto the streets across the country. Police were overwhelmed by protesters as they attempted to storm the parliament compound. Flames could be seen coming from inside. Police opened fire after tear gas and water cannon failed to disperse the crowds. The protesters opposed tax rises in a country already reeling from a cost of living crisis. Many are now calling for President William Ruto to step down. And I want to tell this government, we gave you the entry, we are going to show you the exit. Mr. President, Mr. President, watch us. Ruto has been caught between the competing demands of the population and lenders like the International Monetary Fund, which is urging the government to cut deficits to access more funding. That's as he struggles to tackle Kenya's heavy debt burden, with interest payments alone consuming 37% of annual revenue. The government has already made some concessions with the bill, which was sent for a third reading on Tuesday. That includes promising to scrap proposed new taxes on bread, cooking oil, car ownership and financial transactions. But that has not been enough to satisfy protesters.